Ladies and gentlemen, today is June 27. I'm John Lo, the owner of a Dragon House. Right next to me, I have Christian Espinoza, is the Dragon House veteran. Um, having fought for a, a, a year? Two years. Two years, I'm making a comeback. I think you just graduated from school, right? Yep. So uh, today's officially signed Christian Espinoza fighting on our upcoming event, Dragon House 26. August 12th at the heart of San Francisco Kizar Pavilion. Christian, good to have you on board. Thanks for having me. Uh, now, let's introduce yourself to all the MMA Five fans out there in case some of, some of them don't know who you are. Who is Christian Espinosa? Where are you growing up and what got you into martial art? All right, my name is Christian Espinosa. I was born and raised in the Bay Area. I started uh, traditional martial arts as a, as a kid, but I say my foundation is when I started wrestling in high school. From then on, I did a couple years of boxing, did a couple of years of jiu-jitsu before I found my home at Combat Fitness in Vallejo, where I train mixed martial arts. That's pretty awesome. Now, um, you are the first pro or the second pro from your gym, huh? Uh, maybe third or fourth, I don't know. Yeah, you're one of the, one of the captains in the Combat yeah. Fitness. Yeah. So, now, it's a big changing for you because you always fought on 125 pounds. This is the first fight. You jump up a weight class, and then uh, it's funny because your opponent, Matt Ramirez, is also doing the same thing. Fought 125 the entire career, and now is the first fight. Jump up to 135. So what made you uh, make that change? Mm -hmm. Well, early on in my uh, mixed martial arts career, I was making the weight cut to 125 easily. But after more and more fights, I was putting on more weight. and. Towards my last few fights, the weight cut was just getting a little hard for me. I mean, I was still making the weight cut, but I did feel a little more fatigued in my fights, so I feel like now's the time to step up my weight to 135, so I did uh, start lifting a little more, put on a little muscle to hang with the other 135ers, and I'm ready to go. What do you walk around weight? Around 150, 155 right now. That's a good cut for you. Mm -hmm. Good cut for, and you're five foot six, so it's not really, that's a perfect perfect weight class for you to fight 135 so now let's talk about this upcoming fight been gone for two years and just starting to get back to the gym uh, how did that how's your body react I feel like it's great I feel like I, I needed this time off because uh, I was taking fights every couple months uh, back back and forth um, so I needed a couple a couple years off so it gave my body and my mind time to Rebuild itself and a uh, little refresh. Yeah, the fire, to, but the fire to fight is uh, burning bright. It's like my first time again. That's pretty awesome. Well, I'm glad you fight that little freshman. You're only 26 years old. Mm -hmm. Still got a long career ahead of you. Now, in this training camp, what do you dif do differently to prepare for this guy, Matt Ramirez? You know, he had never fought on any small show, and he's, he's even though his record is one in three, he's he's a he's a Bellator vet. He start turning pro. He ended even four straight fights on Bellator. Big stage, big platform. Fought all these top-notch opponents, uh, even though he has upside-down record, but uh, can describe the skill set of what he has to bring on board. What do you have to do to prepare for this guy? Well, I know this is going to be a tough opponent. I believe he was undefeated as an amateur. Yes. So we were both undefeated as an amateur, and uh, just unfortunately, unfortunately, we both had a few losses that didn't go our way. But I know he's going to be a tough guy, um, and I'm here to bring it. Training, uh, everything of course, boxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, but all the details remain a secret. That's pretty good. So what's your, like roughly, ideally, if you have the perfect moment for this fight, what would you prefer, standing up, or scrappling, or wrestling match it? What, what do you have to prefer this mm -hmm. fight? I'll just go where the fight goes. Um, don't really go in with too much of a game plan. I'm just ready to stand and bang, or if it goes to the ground, I'm ready for that too. It's ready for any aspect of the fight. So what do you have to do to prepare for your cardio on your conditioning part? What mm -hmm. do you do for your training? A lot of running, a lot of sprinting, some swimming, and a lot of circuit workouts and just a bunch of other stuff. Bunch of other yeah. stuff. Some of them remain secret. Yeah, until secret you guys stuff. showed up. <laughs> let's, let's watch the fight. There we go. There we go. Now, if people want to get a hold of you to get ticketed watching you fight, how can people contact you? Uh, you can contact me on my Facebook or Instagram. My Instagram is at Chris E underscore Westside. And then Facebook, just search uh, Christian Espinosa, Silent Assassin. Silent Assassin, Christian Espinosa on Facebook. 
Now, um, any sponsor you want to shout out to? Shout out to uh, 32 Dental for my mouthpiece, uh, 3C Construction, and just shout out to my gym, uh, Rapid Cons Martial Arts Combat Fitness, and all my training partners and all my supporters out there. Now, where's Rapacon located? It's uh, in Vallejo on Sonoma Boulevard. Sonoma Boulevard is one of the oldest gym in Sonoma area. Uh, Combat Fitness, also called Asylum Fight Team. I know the owner very for a long time. Rocky, uh, one of the veterans in the sport. If you guys in the Vallejo area want to check out uh, to work out gym, go check out Combat Sport in Vallejo or Asylum Fight Team. Very good gym. Every fighter comes out of the gym. It's always ready to throw down. Very, very well knowledge, uh, knowledgeable uh, uh, gym in that area. Go check it out. So now, if anyone want to find out more of the, the layout, the fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. We have about 20 fights for this event. 12 pros, 8 amateurs, and it will be broadcast nationally, uh, nationwide pay-per-view. You can order a pay-per-view voucher from DragonHouseMMA.com. Any last word you want to shout out to all the MMA fight fans out there, friends and family? Uh, yeah, just get your tickets. Come hit me up, and you're not going to want to miss this show. Uh, I'm Team Asylum, and you know we always bring it, and we always make exciting fights. Awesome. All the sponsors, if you want to hit up some local fighters sponsoring, here's another one. Upcoming rising star, Christian Espinosa. Um, without all the sponsors, all the fight fans, we can't do what we want to do. We can't put on a show for everyone, so come out, support. Get a ticket for local fi uh, fighters, hit them up, Facebook, Instagram, either way. Uh, please give us a like on the MMA fan page uh, for uh, Facebook and then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for love to support. We'll put up another epic event for you guys August 12th, Dragon House 26. And good to have you aboard, Christian Exponosa. Right, thank you for having me again. All right. See you back. See you guys there.